Hey everyone, Slack Shimmer standing back with more Oshi no Ko. We'll be watching episode 7 of season 2 today. Where we left off was Melt had an absolute epic moment. Those 60 seconds where he literally stole the spotlight. The animation studio, for one, did a fantastic job capsulating or capturing a very fun artistic feel of the play itself. Kind of showing Melt's character from him being this poor actor, not very good. He just kind of got to hand it to him because of his good looks. And then him actually working hard for that one spectacular moment. But anyway, I'm about to dive into this today. Don't forget to like, subscribe button, join the rules. Go today without further ado. Let's dive into this. Kana made up for it with probably improvision right there. Yeah, she ad libbed it. That's right. The competition. Akane really Akane acknowledged it too. Yeah, that's right. Even they're taken away by it. And here's Aqua's character, first time. Oh, that's the role that Aqua plays. Mm -hmm. Alright, Akane. Cook. Cook here, Akane. Now, Kana's watching her from the sidelines. She must have captured it well. Uh huh. It's like that's the depiction of her, the, her drawing, the character she drew. Yeah. I like it. Look at that. The turning panel of setting. Another melt scene, maybe. Oh, here we go. Is Milk gonna cook again? Is he gonna have another bright, shiny moment? <laughs> Aqua. Speaking to the audience. Ooh. Yep. There we go. This is this is a showdown now, isn't it, between the two? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they explained it in the previous episode about how their acting styles contrast or they're different from each other. And they actually are rivals to a degree, too. Flashback? Oh, she's, she's acting, okay. <laughs><笑><笑> The penguin. I guess that was the driving factor, huh? Yeah. I like it so far because it's not like the parents are forcing their child into becoming a child actor. She obviously is expressing visible interest in it at a young age. So they're more so just presenting an opportunity for her, which is just fantastic. Fantastic. She's a tea kettle. So she must have had ups and downs in her acting career as a young child. And there she sees Aqua for the first time. I wonder if she knew that was Aqua when, when she met him. Uh, 
That's right, she did have short hair in that TV drama she was in. She even has a little beret on too. Until the day I met Kana, because she was so much different as a child. Even Aqua says that. Oh, we called her Kana. They're, they're auditioning for it, but he already decided it's going to be for her, huh? Kind of just must be so devastated right now. That's true. Honestly, a lot of works nowadays just use name recognition, which is unfortunate. At least in like American films recently, they've been doing that. Probably because Kana thinks she's not a good actor herself. So she doesn't understand why all these people look up to her, even though she just gets these roles without even needing to apply herself. So. But of course, Akane's not going to look at that from that perspective. She just got her heart demolished by her idol, essentially, growing up. Psychology. Nice. She's trying to understand the comprehension behind the human brain. Yes. Love psychology. Seclude yourself in a room just reading endlessly, trying to figure out. That's why she did the bell pepper dance. I think being an idol is probably the that what a contrast what a contrast the eye the symbolic eye design an egoistical style huh yeah an egoist to make other actors look so bad because she's doing such a fantastic job Yo, I love the eye designs. Come on, look at that. <laughs> I know this is all choreographed and, and planned, but it's just so elegant with the movement movements. Look at this performance. Man, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I love how they're portraying just the freedom within Akane's acting. But Kana's not gonna let it stand, huh? Oh, but she can't. There's still roadblock, isn't there? She can't take that step forward yet. She's still, she's staying there. Yeah, buddy. 
that's a supporting actor. But she can never be the star. But Akane doesn't want that. She wants a head head face off. But for the sake of the show, that is, as the director said, that is the right way to go. Wow. I think that really only applies for Kana though, because in in her idol group, Kamachi B, she is the the star behind it. Like the spotlight is hers. But for acting, she's just more so as a supporting actor. Are these lines being said? Oh, they are. I didn't know if they were being said in her head or she was actually speaking them. Oh, they're behind the stage. Okay. Okay, this makes sense. Okay, as the sunlight goes or the spotlight goes on them. Together. There we go. Sun. I just love their portrayals of Oshinoko. Just how they describe things just from a even from a psychological standpoint. But just an artistic viewpoint. Basically, Kana, as a child actor, had all the spotlight on her. But I think as she got older, that spotlight only faded away because at a certain point, child actors kind of fade off from that spotlight. So now since she's still doing roles, she's more so as a great supporting actress. But Akane is a, gen a, a genius actor who, when she acts, the, star the spotlight or the starlight is all on her. And Akane wants to be Kana, but not the way she is now, but how Kana used to be when she was a child actor, because all the st spotlight was on her and they want to do a head-to-head -head battle. The very end scene with Aqua coming to Akane saying, no, if you stay this course, you will be here, but Akane doesn't want that. She wants to beat the previous Akane when, she, or Akane when she's also giving her all. So Aqua said, let's do this together, which I love because he's standing behind and supporting Akane from that viewpoint. So now they're going to both go together and they're going to probably go head to head against Kana, which next episode, that should be just, I can't wait. I can't wait for that. Oshinoko Wednesdays. Every every just amazing. Mm -hmm.